What's up everyone, Tech Me Out here, and today I am back with episode seven of the perfect setup battle. So in today's battle, I'm gonna give you five setups in which you can choose the winner from by casting your vote down below. The results are gonna be tallied up on Saturday and announced on Sunday via my Twitter and Instagram. Now as the winner, you're gonna receive a gift card to Amazon or iTunes, plus have your setup featured on my website. I'll be in contact with the winner via the email they submitted their setup from. Now, in today's battle, we have Frederick, Ollie, Clark, Nicholas, and Chad. I'm gonna be showing their setups and mentioning just a few tweaks that they have installed. However, their full tweak list will be provided down below in the description box. So without any further ado, let the battle begin. My first submission comes from Frederick with this gorgeous lock screen that involves this analog clock that is the centerpiece to immediately grab your attention. He got rid of unnecessary elements such as the default clock and status bar through the use of Hide Me X. Beneath his clock, the Touch ID emblem adds a nice touch to the overall look going on here. Now, when you unlock his device, his home screen takes on a very clean look with his Velixium theme. You'll find that his folders are placed at the top of this layout with his apps at the bottom. I personally like this setup as it does seem that he tried to keep things on one page with this idea. His badges were changed with blurry badges and Manila was also installed to give him 3D touch access on all of his folders. Frederick also submitted his notification center that is filled with all of the essentials. The full list of what you can find here will be provided down below in the description box, but other areas of his phone that were also changed include his control center, music app, and messages, which overall look absolutely great. It's a beautiful setup, so thanks Frederick for participating in this week's battle. Now my second submission comes from Ollie with his setup entitled Modern. I love the way he submitted this as it provides a useful way not only for me, but also you guys as well to see what he has going on here. But we're gonna start with that super simple lock screen. We have a nice cozy wallpaper here to add that little sense of a pop to the overall look um, of the minimalistic clock that he has installed, which might add or Compliments of Lock HTML4. His passcode screen keeps up this simplistic look with the JJ Braille keypad to change the typical number keypad to what you see here. Now the keypad circles were removed with sleek code and any text that you would normally find has been erased with Hot Dog. When you unlock his device, it takes on an Android-like clock at the top center with these squared icons known as All Sync to top things off. I really like the way he positioned things here with the help of Iconoclasm. Ali also took things further by changing his messages, music, settings and control center with each area tying in with the next with the translucent feel. Truly great setup overall. Thanks for participating, Ollie. Now my third submission comes from Clark with his setup that he refers to as flat blur. <laughs> it sounds like I said fat blur. Flat blur, there we go. The lock screen is very eye-catching with an HT inspired clock done with lock HTML4, which is the focal point of everything here. Attention is also paid to the finer things such as his status bar, which has this blurred effect that was achieved with blurry bar. He also changed his slide to unlock text to be a glyph instead using lock glyph. Now Clark's passcode screen is very unique with this cute phrase at the top that was done with hot dog. Beneath that you can unlock his device with the tweak entitled Android Lock XT that's going to give you a gesture enabled method to access things. Moving to his home screen we have the repetition of the clock here as well with an icon set known as minimal iOS 8. Changes were also given to his control center as well. Now overall I like the way he did things here so thank you for also submitting your setup. Moving on to my fourth submission, better known as Quick and Simple from Nicholas. And I feel the name matches it well with his lock screen keeping a very stock look with the clock, date, and added bonus of the weather beneath it. Not only at the top, but also as the wallpaper, which was achieved with Weatherboard 2. Now when you unlock his device, the wallpaper takes precedence here as all of his icons are within his dock only. Now to access the rest of them, you're gonna have to use Insta Launcher, which will provide you a list of all of his installed apps. He even changed his multitask switcher, the appearance of his music on his lock screen, and also his settings. So big up to you, Nicholas. Thank you for taking part in this week's battle. And my final submission, it's gonna come from Chad with his setup entitled Sharp Night. Now the beauty of this city. His lock screen definitely catches the eye and his notifications are tidied up here to ensure that it does with the help of Priority Hub. His passcode screen has also been cleaned up with sleek code to remove certain things like the typical circles you will find behind the numbers. Moving on to his home screen, the icon set you see here is done with Gotham and a few other tweaks such as Googes were also installed to achieve things such as his badges being words instead of numbers. Nicely done Chad, thank you for participating in this week's battle. So that's going to wrap things up for my five submissions 
submissions this week, please cast your vote on who you think had the best setup by stating their name down below in the comment section with the hashtag in front of it. Should the win go to Frederick, Ollie, Clark, Nicholas, or Chad. The winner will be chosen this Saturday and announced on Sunday via my Twitter and Instagram. So follow me up there to find out who left with the win. And once again, please be sure to include that hashtag with the name of the person that you want to win. It truly helps me out a great deal when I'm tallying up the votes. But other than that, please be sure to check back next Monday for episode eight of the Perfect Setup Battle. I got more gorgeous setups that you definitely don't want to miss. Till next time, as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.